Russia has taken a significant step in its aviation industry. With the successful, maiden flight of the Sukhoi Superjet 100, powered by the domestically produced PD-8 engine. This achievement is part of the country's ongoing efforts to develop a self-sufficient commercial aircraft sector. Following Western sanctions that disrupted access to foreign aviation components. During the 40-minute journey, the SJ-100 reached speeds of 500 km per hour, 310 miles per hour, and an altitude of 3,000 meters, 9,800 feet. The aircraft captain confirmed that all assigned tasks were successfully completed and that the PD-8 demonstrated smooth and stable operation throughout the flight. The PD-8 engine, a bypass turbofan with an 8-ton thrust, was developed using advanced Russian materials and manufacturing technologies. Drawing from the expertise gained through the PD-14 engine program, the PD-8 is designed for both the Superjet passenger aircraft and the bereaved B-200 amphibious firefighting aircraft. United Aircraft Corporation plans to provide two more experimental PD-8 engines for further flight assessments by the end of March, with an official type certification expected in the fall. The Russian government has pledged over $2.7 billion toward the development of domestic aircraft, including the SJ-100 and the MC-21 according to Rostec CEO, mass production of the MC-21 is slated to begin in 2026. Authorities aim to manufacture over 600 aircraft by 2030 to replace aging, Western-built fleets. However, concerns remain regarding production, capacity, and delivery timelines. Meanwhile, China is rapidly becoming a global leader in aviation technology, driven by a vision to revolutionize air travel. On Saturday morning, China's first large cargo drone, capable of carrying a one-ton payload, the TP-1000, successfully completed its maiden flight in Qingdao City. The innovative aircraft marks a major milestone in unmanned cargo transportation, being the first large unmanned transport aircraft in China equipped with airdrop capabilities. The aircraft has a takeoff weight of 3.3 tons and a maximum payload capacity of 1,000 kilograms. Compared to its predecessor, the TP-500, the TP-1000 features a larger cargo hold, increased cargo capacity, and an extended range. The drone can fly up to 1,000 kilometers when fully loaded, making it highly efficient. For low-altitude cargo transport, its 7 cubic meter cargo hold is designed for optimal space utilization, and its conventional high-wing design and rectangular fuselage facilitate easy handling of cargo pallets. The aircraft requires a takeoff distance of 396 meters and a landing distance of 416 meters, making it adaptable for various airstrips. The TP-1000 has already received 30 orders in China, highlighting its potential in the commercial sector. The aircraft is expected to receive type certification from the Civil Aviation Administration of China by 2026. Once certified, it will likely play a significant role in streamlining logistics, operations, and meeting the growing demand for automated cargo transport. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts in the comments section. Hey there, are you pursuing aviation studies and struggling with aviation subjects? Don't worry. At Jetline Marvel, we bring over 10 years of experience in the aviation industry. We've crafted an amazing textbook 
packed with valuable content tailored to your graduation requirements. Check out our book on Amazon and order your copy today.